Hi guys, I wanted to go over how to apply parallel axis theorem to a rod. Uh, the question here says use the parallel axis theorem to show the moment of inertia for a long thin rod of mass m and length l rotated about its n is one third ml squared. Uh, this same expression can be get using integration, but we're going to use parallel axis theorem. So parallel axis theorem says that the moment of inertia of an object is the moment of inertia about its center of mass plus m d squared, where d is the distance between its center of mass and the new axis. So, if we take a uniform rod, <clears throat> has length L and mass M. Its center of mass is here. The axis of rotation is here. The distance between the center of mass and new axis is a distance of L over two. And I know that the moment of inertia for a rod about its center of mass is 1 12th ML squared. So this distance L over two is D in my parallel axis theorem. <clears throat> and so if I take those expressions and I plug them in. We have 1 12th ml squared. This is, again, moment of inertia for the rod about its center of mass. And we're going to add to that md squared, where d is L over 2. And that is the distance between the center of mass and a new axis. <clears throat> so if I sum those, what we end up with is 1 12th ml squared plus squaring that L over 2, I get a 1 4th ml squared. In summing these, we have 1 12th ml squared plus 3 twelfths ml squared. That is 4 12 ml squared or 1 third ml squared. Hope this is helpful, guys. Keep in mind, parallel axis theorem is awesome. Um, it makes <clears throat> calculating moments of inertia for objects with axes in weird places very simple, assuming that you remember the moment of inertia of those objects about their center of mass. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Have a great day.